Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Better name faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Why not a race to the Calumet Ravine? You? Sure, let's race. All right, let's race! Maybe another time. Next time, friend. Next time we'll get you. You can write that down. Hello? Come in. sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. 
How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. I'm coming through. Where's this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. We'll continue on this way. I am going to look for some herbs to give you. Dutch. A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Okay, let's continue on. You were saying before you rode off? But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. And I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. 
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. What were you speaking about before? Well, she got pregnant. She knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. That fella, Monroe, how you know him? Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel Favors, he walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here.
It's ruined. There's some whiskey here. I cannot believe this. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Still no sign of the Chinupa. Whiskey? <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. <laughs> Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... I...
Something's over here. Yep. Yeah. Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things. Our only things, people, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself.
He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> <laughs>